do I influence too much when I try to help to find other people way back to the heart or do I speak individually with my spiritual guides? Everyone has a different pace. I'm so thankful. Um, okay, so somebody asked this question. Do I influence too much when I try to help to find other people, uh, helping people back to the heart? Or do I... So... Um, you know, this is, for me personally, when I was in the beginning, uh, somebody's asking me that, do I uh, influence too much when I try to help people to find their way back to the heart? So, or in, it, you know, it's such an individual thing and it's such, <laughs> It's a thing that we really need to pay attention because, for example, um, when I come across people who are there, I would say their minds very closed or I call them the mainstream people and uh, they have... Uh, they're really brainwashed, let's say, or they're sleepy. They're not awake yet. And uh, there are times that there's an opening, there's an opening that I can say something, that I can see they're open to hear it and using their own language. It's kind of like, the way I, this is the way I look at it, okay? But this is only a way of explaining it. So I, I don't want you to just hold on to what I say and then uh, tell me this is how really it is, okay? But it's a way of explaining it. It's like when I'm dealing with sleepy people, uh, when I'm dealing with whatever, they could be from work, could be service people, could be family, could be friends, could be general public, whatever. And I come across that. That I, I realize that I need to develop um, an attitude or, or taking a position of, I am dealing with children and not to be so judgmental or harsh or impatient with them. Because when you have come to the world of spirit and you have been working on yourself for a number of years, like most, most of you, most of us, especially from the academy, we've been working on ourselves for years and years, uh, reading spiritual books, being with different teachers, going to different seminars and workshops. So the self-awakened mechanism is already kicked in. So we have learned the language and we also have started to develop uh, our intuitive knowing and listening to our own heart and hearing the inner voice. So then if on the on the scales of spirituality you it's safe to say that you have maybe you have finished <laughs> kindergarten or you have gone through elementary school and now you're maybe in high school or maybe you're in college or whatever you have expanded your consciousness so when you do come across someone sleepy, it could be your mom, could be your sister, could be a relative, it could be your cousin, it doesn't matter. They age-wise, they can be older than you are. But spiritually, they haven't advanced. Spiritually, they're like a child. And 
So now you're dealing with them, okay? It's natural for you to feel like you want to enlighten them. It's natural for you to try because they're dealing with their fears and a lot of their worries and concerns and, you know, they're really stuck into this place. And you want to just share with them that, look, trust, trust life. Um, everything's going to be fine if you trust existence. Don't worry. Just pull back. Don't be stuck so much in your head. Come back to your heart. And you, you want to relay that. You want to explain this somehow to them. And sometimes maybe they're open to it. Sometimes they're not open. But you can see like they're struggling with a lot of fears. They're really worried about the news they're getting from the TV and they're really stuck in their head. Worry, 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 what's gonna happen? Da, 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 da. Is, he, is she gonna call me back? Am I going to be able to save it? Or am I gonna, you know, they're, they're stuck. And you just kind of wanna tell them, listen, pull back and come to your, and, and just a little bit, let go for the expansion to take place. Sometimes there is an opening and they're open to listen to you. But you have to understand that in this situation, you become the adult and they're the children. Spiritually, you have grown up, you're a grown up, and they're the kids. So... You can't expect a kid, a five, six, seven, eight year old, to all of a sudden understand things that a 40 year old person understands. So you have to switch your psyche and the way you look at it that now you have to realize on the spiritual scale, I am dealing with the child. So you have to talk to them accordingly. Okay? I'm not talking about that you talk to adults like a child. What I'm trying is that you recognize their spirit is, is not, it's lower, and they can only understand so much. So sometimes if you really try to influence them, it backfires or it just passes by and they're not picking it up or you start annoying them and they just look at you completely differently. Or so you have to just relax and kind of throw in a cock a couple of different things in there, missiles, maybe it hits somewhere and they realize it. But yeah, you need to feel it to see at what point you can expose them and share with them there's an opening and at what point it's too much. And I have been on both sides of really being too much and trying to enlighten other people. But all I did was frustrating myself and basically losing people or just people not wanting to talk to me because I'm bugging them or I'm too woo, you know?